Welcome back from class loader. That's going to be our second component now. It will be the runtime data area. We are going to speak this time about method area, PC register, and native method stack. So let's get into them. Runtime data area is a memory area assigned when the Java virtual machine program runs on the operation system for first time. Method area, all Java virtual machine threads sharing the same method area. Method area stores class level data including static variables for example, such as the following. For each class there is a class loader which is going to load it. We spoke about the class loader in the previous episode. So in this method area we will have the class level data. So each class will have its own reference to the class loader responsible for loading it. The runtime constants pool, numeric constants fields, reference, method reference, attributes, as well as the constants of each class and interfaces for each class running in this method area. We have the method data per method, each method, the name, return type, parameters type, in order modifiers and attributes. Field data, each data per field, name, type, modifiers, attribute. Method code per method, byte code, operand stack size, local variable size, local variables table, exception table per exception handler and exception table, start point, end point, PC offset for handler code, constant pool index for exception class being cut. So method area, it contains a lot of information about the class and it's shared for memory optimization. We spoke about the class content. Usually most of the class content is stored inside this method area for later use during the class loading phases. We got after that the program counter PC register. PC register is for each thread has its own PC register to keep track the current instruction methods in its thread executing at any point of time which means that what message running at the moment we will track it so we have like a vision of what is going on at this moment of our application if the current execution method is a native then the value of the PC register will be undefined then we have the native method stacks each set has its own native methods stack. It contains all the native methods used in the application. If the native methods cannot be loaded by a Java virtual machine, then it needs to have native method stacks loaded. Memory size is fixed or dynamic. If the computation requires a larger native method stack than is permitted, Java virtual machine will throw a stack overflow exception as well as if native method stacks can be dynamically expanded but there is no space java virtual machine will throw an out of memory error that was an overview of method area pc register and native method stacks next episode we are going to speak about the difference between stacks and heap so stay tuned see you next time thank you so much for your time bye bye